Hey what is up guys, it's Shazad here and in this video we'll be taking a look at the power tab V2 ROM on the Micromax phone book. So without any further ado, let's get started. If you noticed, I already did a few of the Jelly Bean ROM reviews on the Micromax phone book. A one video with a review of the 4.1.2 ROM and a one review with a 4.2.2 ROM on the Micromax phone book. If you didn't watch those videos, it will be linked in the description right below that like button. So be sure to watch those as well. So now, let's take a look at the ROM itself. The ROM basically is based on a Cyanogen Mod 10 with a Jellybean 4.1.1 running over on it. The ROM is originally made for the Micromax Funbook P500, but I done a experiment by installing it on my Micromax Funbook P300. It was running very fluid with a no box on it. Here you can clearly see it says the Android version 4.1.1 with a model number as the Motorola Zoom. I have tweaked it to look like a Motorola Zoom now. After installing this ROM, I really fall in love with my Macromax phone book again because the ROM itself has so much to tweak on and it is very very fluid and very smooth as compared to the ROM which is provided by Macromax officially. As I mentioned the ROM has some of the tweaking just like built-in overclocking features that can allow you to overclock your Micromax Funbook to a 1.2.48 GHz processor uh, which is running very very good and it also has some of the governor settings built in. There are some of the pre-installed app, apps provided in this ROM itself which I will point in just a second. As I mentioned, there are a few of the pre-installed apps in this one, like the All Winner Mod, Apollo Music, and the Beats Audio Installer is also there, the Noah Launcher is there, and the ROM Manager, and some of the few extra apps are out there. And the main thing about this ROM is that the ROM comes pre-rooted out of uh, when you just install it so you don't have to root your device again itself. And we also have some of the pre-installed apps just like the TED, the update me and the voice dialer itself. The battery life on this ROM I didn't find it as good as I expected. I can only get a 2 to 3 hours. Uh, on my heavy usage on my Micromax phone book, so it is not as good as I expected. After just overclocking my device to a 1.2.48 GHz, I can find a really much difference between my device and I also put it my governor on a performance mode that means it will always stay on a 1.2.48 GHz, so I found it working very very fine on my device. And because the, the ROM itself is made for the Micromax Funbook P500, I found a one little bit that can annoy me that my home screen, the home button and the menu button are now working as my volume rockers. Here you can clearly see in the video itself, I can use my volume rockers and I can also use my home button and the menu button to just uh, change my volume controls. So that is really annoying, but uh, I can use the on-screen button to just see my multitasking tray itself. So that is not a very big problem. The second problem that I'm having here is about the Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is not connecting as I mentioned in my 4.2.2 ROM review. Uh, it was also a bug in that ROM itself that my Wi-Fi was not working on that ROM as well. And in this room also my Wi-Fi is not working, so that is a really, really annoying me. Here you can see it says the Cyanogen Mod 10. The lock screen is also pretty similar as we've seen in some of the other Jelly Bean versions. 
I have to say that after using the this ROM itself, I just really love my tablet now because my tablet now runs pretty smooth and silky as compared to my old stock ROM now. Here you can see the just a really smooth effects and the scrolling effects is very very smooth now. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for my upcoming videos in the future itself. If you want to download this ROM, you can download it from the link in the description. And you can also watch my other ROM reviews on my Micromax Funbook. So be sure to subscribe for my future videos as well. So guys, subscribe for my YouTube channel. And also you can watch my blog that is newageofandroid.blogspot.n and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.